In this video we will talk about rheumatoid arthritis so rheumatoid arthritis is an autoimmune disorder that causes destruction of the joints through inflammatory mediators produced by body owns. Immune system like tumor necrotic factor alpha, interleukin 1 and interleukin 6. It is three times more common in females as compared to males and it is found to be associated with smoking, mycoplasma and other atypical bacteria. The patient will have rheumatoid arthritis if four of the following points becomes true first morning stiffness greater than one hour for at least six weeks. Secondly swelling of wrists, metacarpophalangeal joints, proximal interphalangeal joints for six weeks. Thirdly, swelling of three joints for six weeks. Fourth symmetric joint swelling for six weeks. Fifth RF factor or anti-CCP will be positive and six point is that CRP or ESR will be raised. Lab findings include that there will be positive anti-CCP antibodies C-reactive protein and ESR will be raised an X-ray of affected joint. Now coming towards treatment so methotrexate is a first-line drug and if a patient have still persistent symptoms for greater six months then we have other two options sulfasalazine, hydroxychloroquine, in the third step we will move towards step-up therapy like TNF inhibitors for example adalimumab, infliximab and atanercept are used if still inadequate response then switch to other TNF inhibitors and continue methotrexate. Before starting TNF inhibitors must rule out TB because if the patient is having latent TB then TNF inhibitors causes reactivation of TB. So this was all about today's topic for more informative videos please subscribe to our channel and press the bell button thank you.